people ask me all the time, you know, what is success? And um, it's so individual. I would never tell somebody else what success is. I would say, when most people are pursuing success, I think what they're really pursuing is not a word. They're pursuing a greater quality of life. And in order to have an extraordinary quality of life, it's got to be life on your terms. And, you know, some people's idea of an extraordinary life is, you know, writing beautiful poetry or having a garden. Some people's idea is building a billion dollar company. Some people is 3.2 perfect children. I don't know what the two comes from, point two, but they do. Um, everyone has a different idea. So my approach to helping entrepreneurs, business people, or anyone is to say, you've got to figure out what is an extraordinary life for you. What would that look like today? Not five years ago, 10 years ago, but today, the way you look at life alive instead of an old story. And then there's two skills you got to master. The first one is the science of achievement. And it's a science. And I spent four years interviewing these people and I interviewed the smartest financial people in the world and I picked no one from the Lucky Sperm Club. Nobody that inherited it. They all started with nothing, became multi-billionaires. And what you learn is they do it different ways, but there's some universal patterns and success leaves clues. If you apply the same results, it's a recipe. It'll work for you too. I've done it, other people have done it. Same thing's true with your body. We're all biochemically unique, but there's certain fundamentals that are universal. There are laws, there's a science. If you violate them, you're gonna have low energy disease. If you align with them, you're gonna have high energy. So there's a science to achievement. But the second master lesson for an extraordinary life, I believe is even more important. Because I've dealt with so many achievers that are still miserable. They got everything. They got their Academy Award, they got their Golden Globe, they got, you know, they took their company public, they got a billion dollar net worth, and they're miserable. So to me, that's insane. And the reason is they missed the second master lesson of life, which I call the art of fulfillment. Art, it's not science. Because what's gonna fulfill you is different than me. Whoever it is that's with you, it's like, if you wanna know what the universe or God loves, go to the forest. It's diversity, it's not the same thing. And when you look at, the beauty of life is our diversity. If you wanna see the ultimate failure in life, it's success without fulfillment. That's the ultimate failure. And the art of fulfillment, I think, is the more important of the two. So, you ask me to look in the camera and talk to these entrepreneurs and say, you know, what's the most important key to success? I think it's hunger. It's, it's not getting satisfied. You know, if you look at a Mark Benioff at Salesforce, if you look at uh, Richard Branson's friend of mine, or you look at um, anyone you respect who's achieved at the highest level, Intelligence is an incredibly important distinction and a valuable thing to have in life. But I always tell people, you can find so many intelligent people that can't fight their way out of a paper bag. What matters is hunger. A hunger that doesn't go away. A hunger to learn. A hunger to grow. A hunger to serve. A hunger to give. A hunger to create breakthroughs. Most people are hungry until they make a certain amount of money and then they get comfortable. And there's nothing wrong with that, but it's not about the money. It's not about the business. It's about your growth. Because every one of us either grows or dies. People ask me all the time, what does it take to be happy? I say one word, progress. Progress equals happiness. Because achieving a goal feels good for how long? A week, a month? three months, and then there needs to be something else. And the reason for something else is because you got to grow. And I think if you can decide that success is life on your terms, but it's also a meaningful life where you found something you care about more than yourself that you want to serve, whether it's your family or a community or a mission or your company, then you're blessed. And success is that experience of not only achievement, but fulfillment. And it can't be achieved unless you're growing and unless you're giving in ways that you're not positioning the giving, it's not what other people say, it's what you know in your soul. And I think if you can find those things inside yourself, they're not easy, but they're worth it. Uh, you'll have a life that will look like a dream to other people and they'll all think you're lucky because we're all rewarded in public for what we've practiced continuously in private.